Christmas has got to be cold. It's just got to be cold. I just think that well, one thing about L.A. is that it has, it's not cold enough. You've got to be wearing sweaters and scarves and jackets and it's gonna be cold. At Christmas I like to decorate. Um, I like to put mistletoe on every doorway, which is fun. Thank you, Austin and Christy. Happy holidays, everybody. We are celebrating with Days of Our Lives. Now, magic. Out it comes. Oh, okay. so romantic. Yeah. See, Jensen, you have catching up to do. I'm just <laughs> learning. I'm just I'm focusing. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Now, Jensen, you, you've only been on the show, what? Has it been a few months? Uh, since July, yes. And <laughs> can it be true that as of now, you've had no kissing scenes? Not on air. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Actually, my, my screen test uh, that I did for the part, uh, I had a screen test with both uh, Christy Clark and Allison Sweeney, who play my sisters on the show. That wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, but they made it work for the screen test with Christy Clark. So I actually had a kissing scene with Christy Clark in the screen test. But those, you those... probably won't see that on the air because that's, that's a whole different show. That's a storyline that they just don't want to go. You don't want to tap into Those that. lips are wasted oh. if you haven't been kissing on the show yet. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Now, so you're, you're single. What do you do for the holidays? Do you um, like to ski or something fun? I love to ski. Uh, I, I try to go skiing at least once or twice a year. Um, I will be going home, which is uh, in Dallas, Texas, uh, to, uh, to see my family, my whole family, gr grandparents, aunts, uncles, oh, cousins, so nice. the whole shebang. They all live in Dallas. And so they all, every year we, we get together at one house and, uh, and just have this big huge ra I mean w one room is completely devoted to presents because you can't walk in there because there's so many presents it's just like up to the ceiling and and uh, you're truly blessed then yeah yes you are and and uh, and when they give us the word the kids just go in there and and rip them open them yes all that time to wrap and about 10 nanoseconds exactly. to rip them open <laughs> yes and then and then we just want more you know? I am holding in my hand some mistletoe right now, we've heard them talk about kissing on their set. We want to talk about kissing on my set. <laughs> I'd like you to take a piece of mistletoe, okay? And I'd like for you guys to, you can pick anyone you want. Head out to the audience and just lay those lips on one of our fans out there, all right? Oh Anybody up for the mistletoe? If you want to be recruited, you better start looking alive now. Come on out, guys. <laughs> Recruit someone. Breathless. There you go. Have you, got, you got your Christmas presents then, oh, right? Yes. It's yes. a wonderful thing. Thank you guys. I know. Two so down. Nice All right, next up, you think you know a lot about days. I want you to test yourself on our day's Christmas quiz. That's coming up. And later, a Christmas dream comes true for a day's fan. So we'll see you back here. Jerry Springer, Oprah Winfrey to every soap opera star, Jensen Ackles. Jensen, two years ago, tell me where you were right about now. Uh, two years ago, wow, I was uh, I was thinking about coming out to Los Angeles. I wasn't sure. It was kind of a uh, just kind of a random decision that I decided to do, uh, and and I did it, and and here I am now. Would you ever dream that you know two years later you'd be walking on a red carpet going in for an Emmy nomination? No clue. Had no idea. This is it's. It's stellar. I mean, this is amazing to me to, 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 you know, to have this kind of an honor from so many people and, and to be recognized, you know, in this in such a way. It's it's amazing. So, so what do you predict for tonight? And um, do you have a speech prepared or? Uh... You know, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in prepared speeches. I just, you know, I, I think that 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 kind of jinx, jinxes my, you know, myself. So if I win, then. God help me to say the right thing, and if I don't, then it, it, it's all good. And what's up after this? After Days of Our Lives, I know you have two years left. What do you have in store? I don't know. Women of all ages are falling head over heels for this new face. He's sweet with just the right dose of innocence. He also is nominated for Outstanding Male Newcomer. Please welcome Jensen Ackles. This is quite an honor for us.
have a seat, settle in. I have a picture of, of Jensen and my baby boy, Telly. And, uh, and I, I look at it not infrequently and I'm struck by how proud I would be if Telly turns out as well as Jensen. That's so nice. <laughs> wow. Either you are really a little doll baby or you've got her food. <laughs> mm. Now here you are, a newcomer, things are going great, working there with the queen of soaps. Mm. How the hell is that? She's amazing. Um, she's, she's taught me so much. Her and, her and Drake both. Drake has... <laughs> the, first, the first day I get on set, I get, I get shoved in a scene with, with these two. And it's like, you know, it, of course, it's the, the, the king and queen of this, you know, it, it's hello. And, and, uh, and, and Drake puts me up to this little, this little prank. <laughs> on Deidre? Uh, first day on set. Puts, puts me up to this little prank. Now, now Deidre has this pet peeve. And um, she doesn't like to be called, uh, she doesn't like to, re to be referred to as guys. You know, like when you say, you guys. She says, we're not guys. I'm not, you know. It's just kind of a little pet peeve that she has. It's just kind of a little thing. So, so Drake says, when you say you two right here, say you guys. <laughs> not knowing, okay, he knows what he's talking about. The guys work there a lot more than I have. I'm, I'm you know, by all means. I say you guys, she looks at me. <laughs> we're not guys. And Drake just... Barely. Drake, that was me. That was me oh, no, no, for no, no, the no, no, cute no. new guy on the show. No, the, the best... No, come on. Let's go further. The best one was... I we're warming things up. The best one was, when you start doing a scene with her, take her by the shoulders and say, out of my light. Uh? Uh, uh. <laughs> that was... Yeah. That was it. And that just... And that was the first day, and we hit boom, 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 and it's just taken off from there. It's great. One. See these cards, audience? These are for you. Just got his center tooth replaced. Has a dog named Dallas. Married his high school sweetheart. Oh, that one's so easy. Married to an MD. Giveaway. Easy, easy. Is an only child. A group of women called the Estrogen Brigade have a website about this one. And this guy, I think another easy, was discovered by a photo in GQ. Now, she should get five easily, right? Leanne, you're on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, you know what you have to do. Put the card in front of the guy. He'll hold it for you. You've got 45 seconds. Hal, the clock, please. Go, 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 go. I'm trying. Go, go, go. Run, run. Run, run, run. You've only got 30 seconds. You better hurry up. Dog named Dallas. He's got a dog named Dallas. That was a fighter pilot. Oh. You got 10 seconds. Leanne, Leanne, come on. <laughs> Leanne, come here. Jensen does have a dog named Dallas, right? What kind of dog? Uh, a, uh, a mutt, big mutt. Aww. That's and sweet. do you love this one, Leanne? Yeah. A group of, are you? It's fixed. <laughs> uh, despite all the excitement and glamour associated with daytime, it's a tough competitive field where rejection is an everyday experience. It's especially hard for young actors trying for their first big break. The odds are stacked against them. But three men beat the odds so impressively this year, they are up for outstanding male newcomer, and they are... Eric from Days of Our Lives, Jensen Apple. I don't want any painful, messy involvements. And why should I? You look at mom and dad. Look at you. Can anyone blame me for being who I am? Jack from As the World Turns, Michael Park. If I get out of here, when, when we get out of here, Make some changes. No more all night stakeouts. No more frozen dinners for one. A life. And Ben from Sunset Beach.
Clive Robertson. Fanny wasn't afraid of anything. In fact, there wasn't anything she wouldn't take on. I promise, sir. I'd get her out of the mess she was in. And I let her down. And the winner is... Jensen Ackles! This is Jensen Ackles' first soap opera award nomination and his first win. Wow. Um, thank you, Jesus Christ, for being my, my, my heavenly father, um, for blessing me with so much, with a, a beautiful family who has come to support me tonight, uh, all my friends, um, the cast and crew of Days of Our Lives, you, uh, you are absolutely amazing. Um, the producers, Ken Corday, Tom Langan, Steve Wyman, uh, amazing people. And uh, I'd like to thank Soap Opera Digest for putting all this together. And the fans... Rock. Thank you, everybody. guest has become one of Hollywood's hottest faces. Yep. Now he has appeared on the cover of TV Guide and he recently received the Outstanding Male Newcomer Award from Soap Opera Digest. Yes. yes. He plays Eric Brady on the hit TV show Days of Our Lives. Take a look at this. One day we'll be sitting in this room. It'll be full of furniture and kids. And we'll be telling them about the time that their dad proposed to their mom right in this very spot. <laughs> Not that you're a romantic or anything. Well, you <laughs> bring it out to me. Yeah. Hey, baby. That's a hottie. Is he not a hottie? We just leading her on, or is that uh, yeah, one, that was, one that of the total loves fake? Yeah, was, total fake. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. You're so you know what? <laughs> you have been doing commercials. You've been in the business since you were how old? Was it oh. 10 or? Yeah, probably. What was the first remember. commercial? <laughs> First commercial. Um, my first, my first commercial was a, uh, it was a Nabisco commercial for Triscuits, and really? um, we knew this. And yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and and I sat there all day long, stuffing my face with Triscuits and and spewing them into the trash can right after the take was over. Oh really? And I can't even look at Triscuits anymore. Um, really? They really, they get me really upset, and uh, my stomach starts turning. And it's just, it, it, I let it go. Is it an ugly scene? <laughs> Even the smell really gets me going. It's, it's like shot. I just Did you see out. that shot? Look where they landed. You gotta have one you know, twist. Just it's slap, like connect just the dots slap here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta I'll eat take one. The oh. Triscuits. Oh. No, the reason we tease you is because years ago we did a commercial. You know, it, that's the thing. When you do commercials, you do you drink the product or eat the product, and I mean, you eat it over and over, over and, and over, over and over yeah. and over. Yeah, it's so you, very funny. So you ate. <laughs> you ate her in case. A lot of boxes of Tristan. <laughs> Now, right. you, you moved to L.A., you moved away from home at a very young age. Um, 18. You were 18. I was, I was three months out of high school. And but I, where did you live before that, before L.A.? You were in... I was in Dallas, Texas. In I Texas. grew up in Texas. Oh, okay. All right. Ah. All right. 
So was that was that tough moving away all, all by yourself? Yeah, it was. To Los Angeles? Um, it was. It was kind of cool because you know I, I would have been going to college anyway, so I I would have been venturing out. But uh, it was neat to 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 go somewhere where I knew nobody. I wasn't yeah. going to. A, uh, a school that all of my friends were going to or whatnot. So I, I went out there, didn't know anybody, and just kind of hacked at it. And uh, it was, it was. I think it was just a sense of adventure and not knowing what. You live with roommates happen. or something? Yeah, I am now. Well, I heard something about uh, where you're living. It's, it's quite unusual that you did something very interesting with your Redecorate, garage. Redecoration. Well, yeah. Uh, what, you know, tell, tell everybody about this interesting garage of yours. Okay. Well, we didn't have enough <laughs> garage remotes to pass around between the two roommates, mm. so we just kind of chunked one and basically turned the garage into a little party room and we threw a couch there in there go. we got a ping pong table we got lights we got this a dartboard it's, oh it's a great time yeah but uh but after after a while they got moved out for our uh, our motorcycles and four-wheelers and then <laughs> Those got moved out for our cars, and so now it's just like it, it, the, the garage takes turns. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. So, so you've settled in, and everything's great. We're fine now, yeah. Now, okay, I have to ask, girlfriend. Girlfriend, yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I, got a girlfriend. I do. Really? She's um, she's a what? Like it's a bad thing. He can be happy. <laughs> you know. No, they always crack me up. Well, yeah. like, like serious girlfriend or is this? Well, we've been together for over a year, and she's uh, yeah, she's a really neat, really neat girl. Yeah. I enjoy her a lot. <laughs> How neat! <laughs> Incredibly <laughs> neat. How neat! Our audience does the interviews. Is she that does, scary? yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you when you're doing a show like Days of Our Lives, it's a you know daily show. Mm -hmm. There's bound to be mishaps. You know, things that happen, people crack up, whatever it might Get be. Um, the other, uh, well, this was a while ago. This was probably last year. Um, the girlfriend, the girl that I had the scene with that you just okay. saw, uh -huh. she, uh, she has an attempted rape scene where somebody tries to, someone's in her apartment and uh, um, going at it. Uh, oh, and a, and <laughs> I, I hear... Uh, One way of putting it. The, yeah. Not, well, it didn't actually... We, okay, we, we got the picture. Uh, okay. Jensen, we got the picture. So okay. I'm standing outside the door, and, uh, and I'm supposed to kick the door in. And it's one of those doors with the three big panels, and they're like, you got to kick it hard. It's not just going to fling open. Mm. So I'm like, all right, I'll kick it. Wham! Right through the door. Door didn't open. Door didn't open. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got your foot sitting in there. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Obviously, they didn't use the scene. No, they, they, yeah, they, they yeah, the, 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 uh, the crew was not happy because they had to spend a half an hour, you know, redoing the door. Exactly. And, and that wasn't nice. You enjoyed doing it? It's like fun. That. It's a yeah. lot of fun. The, the, the cast, the, the crew, they're all, it's all a good time on the show. A lot was, of hard work, though, isn't it? It, it, it is. A lot of and, hours. And, um, yeah, we, we can put in a lot of hours. Uh, it varies, you know, from week to week, but... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it does, it does. Well, you're wonderful in the show. Yes. Well, thank you. You are. You do a great and job. You know what? Thank you for coming by. We wish you all the luck in the world with thank it. You. And, uh, you got to come back and do the show again. When you would you like to see yourself on TV Guide? Is that me? I have long blonde <laughs> hair. Thank you, Jason. Thank, thank you. you. I love you, too. Thank you so much for stopping Jason Eccles. Thank you. All right, buddy. We'll be right back. the whole season. In fact, I just wrapped this week at like 5 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. From 7 o'clock in the morning, or 7 o'clock at night on Sunday, so, or whatever, Friday night into Saturday morning, you know. So I'm sleeping all day Saturday, waking up. My body clock's all messed up, but I'm having a fun time. It's great. It's great. It's a great show, and it's getting great reviews, and uh, I'm just having a lot of fun. It's exciting to be Put such uh, part of such a great show and I know all the actors and actresses like I've seen them do other things and so whenever I'm doing a scene with them I'm like cool you know like it's all still neat to me so it's fun it's cool it's it's so fun I mean it was it, like I was the first trophy winner in 99 I guess you know and so then I got to come back and send the audience last year and now I got to introduce them this year and it's like it feels like it's come full circle you know and I'm sitting there like Announcing the trophy presenters, even though I was just a trophy presenter like a year ago or two years ago, it's great, man. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like write my name on the host list, so they'll be like, all right. It was I I done a pilot my senior year, it didn't get picked up, but this is the first this is the next thing I got this is the first thing I got when I moved out, 
I moved out last July, and then I booked Gilmore Girls, and then I've been on it ever since. So far, yeah. I mean, I think they're writing the episode, the next episode, while we're shooting the previous, the current one. So I don't know up to next episode, but so far, yeah, we're doing great. What kind of music do I listen to? Well, Aer I love Aerosmith and Blink-182. I mean, all the artists here are fun today, you know? They're all great characters, and they're all just funny. And uh, my favorite bands are like Pearl Jam, uh, Radiohead. I love the Beatles and the old music. I don't know. I'm a fan of a lot of music, so anything I can kind of get into. I can play the guitar a little bit. I think I can sing, but my sister usually, like, punches me whenever I sing, so I try to... I try to only sing when I'm by myself, so... Uh, let me think. Probably not. I can play basketball. I can uh, work out. I don't know. Hidden talents. I'll have to get one. Or I'll just hide, like, one of my talents. And then... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really into sports. I play all the sports. Uh, I like to play roller hockey. I don't know. Nintendo. I'm very good at Nintendo. Best present anyone ever gave me? Uh, the best present anyone ever gave me. Oh, okay. When I was, uh, for Christmas last year, I lived out in Los Angeles, and my brother, he made me a photo album of photos from, like, when I was born to, uh, last, like, current to last Christmas, and so it was just, like, a good little chronicle of my life. And so whenever I'm out in my apartment alone, I get kind of lonely, I can just pick up my album and look on through it. Last question. I'm sorry? Most amazing thing I've ever, oh, most romantic thing I've ever done. One time, I uh, at 10 o'clock at night, I went over to my girlfriend's house. She didn't know I was coming over. I was talking to her on the phone, and I went over to her house, and then we went and had a picnic in the park really late at night. What's that? Well, it was an ex-girlfriend, so I hope you don't know her. I don't know. Thank but, you very uh, much. Who do I sing? Uh, Barry Manilow. No. Thank you. <laughs> Like Robert Newman, Mark Doty, and three-time Emmy winner Kim Zimmer. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Younger Actor in a Drama Series. Eric on Days of Our Life, Jensen Ackles. Lucky on General Hospital. You know him. Jonathan Jackson. Nate on The Young and Restless. Brian Jones. Raul on The Young and the Restless. David Lago. Nicholas on The Young and Restless. Joshua Morrow. And Billy on The Young and the Restless. David Tom. And the Emmy goes to... David Tom, the young and the rest. From the Gilmore Girls, please welcome Alexis Bladell, Jared Pavalecki, and Milo Vintimiglia. All right. Hey, it's, uh, it's time to look. It's time for a look at the year's scariest moments in reality TV. Because we all know reality shows love to mess with the deepest fears of their contestants. Yeah, even before I came on stage tonight, the producers asked me what my biggest fear was. Damn, they did? What? Yeah. They asked me too. They asked me that too. What do you guys tell them? Well, I mean, I'm kind of freaked out by fire, you know? That's my fear. That's, that's... Oh, you that's both said fire. Do the, produ the producers knew this? Yeah. TV reality, scariest moment. And the winner for Choice TV reality, scariest moment is Ruben making the bottom two on American Idol. Let's take a look. Girls, Luke offers Lorelai an indecent proposal. What are you doing? Will you just stand still? Rory gets caught in the act. Hey, what's going on? Dean came over to borrow something. 
Yeah. <clears throat> you all know about the Gilmore Girls. Scratch that. Let's get the inside scoop on the Gilmore guys. All is revealed. When the WB Insider continues. Oh, that's right. Apparently love is in the air in Stars Hollow. And how do you romance a Gilmore girl? Well, I guess it takes a little work and working out. Hey, let's get a behind-the-scenes look at the Gilmore Girls. Now, you know what? Scratch that. Let's get the inside scoop on the Gilmore guys. The true story, the men of Gilmore Girls. Lorelai and Rory. Rory and Lorelai, for years, millions of fans have fallen in love with the Gilmore Girls and looked on as this single mom in her 30s raised her teenage daughter. But what about the men in these ladies' lives? Rugged and reserved, Luke Danes is the owner of the local diner who serves a little advice on the side, while Dean Forrester is the young and handsome man that's turning Rory's life upside down. These Gilmore guys have captured the attention of our favorite ladies, and it's time to find out why. Why? It's a guy thing. The guys are a really important element of this show. They always seem to hire, like, the nicest guys on the show. The rumor is Scott really likes to work out, push ups and stuff. Is, is he in pretty good shape? I think he does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he works out. I think most actor guys that are actors work out, don't they? You should feel his back if you have the opportunity. I'm going his to back's like, oh. it's really, um, he's quite solid. So how often are you in here in the gym working out? Uh, the question is, when am I not here? All right, so you're like world champion kickboxer and you're working out Scott here. How does he compare like with the world circuit? Well, he's <laughs> He's, he's one of the best, I think. We do, we, we do a nice warm up, warm him up, you know, get him sweat, and then we stretch really hard, and then, then we get him practicing punches and combinations and, and stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, let Scott work on his left hook. Or right, left, left, left hook. <laughs> Meanwhile, fellow Gilmore guy, Jared Padalecki, who plays Dean Forrester, finds other ways to have a ball. Are you having a ball? What's I'm having thing? a ball. What this, is this? I was out in Australia three years ago mm -hmm. doing a movie, and I came back and I was like, I wish I would have bought one of those Survivor things where they're just like, wow, 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 wow. And then so I found out what it was. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah. kind of a weird sound. So and what's so, the name of it? Didgeridoo. 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 Now, can you do the didgeridoo? Can you but give I me can't another note? Breathe. I'll can try. <laughs> Okay, so we know the Gilmore guys know how to have fun and keep in shape, but there's another rumor dancing around the set that it's time to clear up. It's a slow dance, a waltz. Luke can waltz. Luke can waltz? Luke can waltz. What's all the waltzing about? I mean, can he dance? <laughs> Tell him I said he was light on his feet. Ah, conflict. I can show you. Oh, I'd be, I'd love that. You okay. Scott Patterson can waltz. Can, can you? Can you really? I cannot. So I you can't show to. me a move because he did. You know what? I can do. It's called a trip walk. <laughs> okay. It's not waltzing, but it's certainly creative. It's a. It's Very a... talented. <laughs> so how do you make Scott laugh? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I make Scott laugh with, with things like <clears throat> the cars that I buy, because he <laughs> every car I buy, he's like, why'd you get that? Why'd you get that car? I, you know, you get crushed like a, like a can. She just bought an aluminum truck mm -hmm. that, you know, I mean, if, if a gnat ran into the side of her, the thing would explode. <laughs> I got a dumb car that you don't like. Because he's like a serious car dude. And Scott's got these wicked cool cars, and I'm always parking next to him, so I'm like not wanting to open the door and kind of like... What does a Gilmore guy drive? It's a Benz, oh. but it's not just any Benz. What do you tell? It's the E55 AMG. Black on black, all the toys. Hmm, exercise, cars, music, dancing? The guys are taking over. Do I smell a spin-off? You know, it could be done. It would just be a lot of like, hey, hey. It'd probably be like all like, like monster trucks <laughs> and like beef jerky. <laughs> like one episode would be, you know, who took my Padres hat? Get over here, now. There'd probably be like beef jerky, a few motorcycles. Um, Edge some softball games, some bacon and egg omelets or something like that. So, thank God it's the Gilmore Girls. All right, and who else is on the show? You want to read this name for me? Jared Padalecki. 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 Yes. Padalecki. Padalecki. And he's his 
uh, his new show is... So then a show from Supernatural. It's not just natural, it's Supernatural Show Mag. <laughs> <laughs> You gave away the magic. <laughs> Supernatural show bag. Um, it's, uh, it's actually, it's on the WB. It's called Supernatural. And this, I don't know if you've seen this. I was looking through Us Weekly. And uh, just, just minding my own business, I open up the magazine and look what's in here. Up next, from the new WB drama Supernatural, Jared Padalecki. You'll recognize our next guest from the Gilmore Girls. Lately, you can catch him chasing ghosts on the WB's new hit, Supernatural. Take a look. If there is something out there, it's picking up its pace. So what, we got a lake monster on a binge? This whole lake monster theory, it, it just buzzed me. Why? Loch Ness, uh, Lake Champlain, there are literally hundreds of eyewitness accounts, but here, it's almost nothing. Whatever it is out there... No one's living to talk about it. Did make this sandwich. It's, uh, it's, well, I don't want to take all the credit for it, but, um, I, I, no, I can't lie to you. I didn't make the sandwich. Oh, you didn't? I didn't make the sandwich or the Altoids, oh, but, um. That's sweet that I you think about Altoids to, because yeah, I needed it after Yeah, I saw the this. onions and I just thought, you know what Ellen needs? She needs some breath mints. Yeah, because you never know what happens on this show. Yeah, Thank you. you. I mean, Thank you so much. You're, you're right. Padalecki. Padalecki. I called you so many different names in the beginning. Padalecki. She called you something else. What do you get? Did um, you... Uh, Degeneres. I used to get. Degeneres. Uh, yeah, I used to get Degeneres all the time. Degenerate. Yeah. I'll, oh, yes. I got that a lot growing I'll just up. I'll leave now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't have to kick me out. It's all right. I'm so used to it. Um, <laughs> all right. So now you're the second guest that we have dealing with these kind of supernatural and ghost like, and and right. supposedly. We couldn't even get a clip to air because it's so scary. We had to, like, find something that was, it's, it's supposed to be really, really scary. Right. And, and so what's yours about? <laughs> it's just very scary. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, well, what's great about this show and that I think what separates it from a lot of the other sort of ghost shows that are coming out is that our show is about true urban legends. I don't know if that's an oxymoron, but true folklore and it's stuff uh -huh. that you know you can look up on google and see you know wendigo or bloody mary or the Hookman legend and it's just stuff that you grow up here and you know the monsters in the closet and uh -huh. you know the hitchhiker on the side of the road and so it's stuff that you know we're not just kind of making up stories we're going and the writers are researching and googling and no i heard it's really scary i can't wait to see yeah, it yeah it's very scary it's so very now scary. you're you're 23 right? 23 right and you're from texas and I am you from don't texas. you don't have a trace <laughs> i can't I'm from New Orleans, and I don't. But you don't have an accent at all. Right. It's. I left it in the green room. They told me to. Are you pick it up on the way out? Yeah, I, I, I should. I should have brought it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what? I, when I when I get tired or drunk, it kind of. Uh -huh. It kind of sneaks out, and I. Hey, y'all, and yeah. uh, at five o'clock, and just sort yeah. of stupid. Right. <laughs> lazy speech, and I'll I'll go get it. And yeah. I had a very amazing drama teacher in high school that sort of made us get rid of any sort of tinge of accent, and so. So that you can know. adapt to different yeah, things. Yeah, so that, you know... It, so if someone hears you speaking in a, in a drawl, they know you're drunk. Right, right. right. Drunk. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, yeah. I actually wore my Texas belt, so... Uh-huh. I had that. Uh, what part of Texas are you from? I'm San Antonio. San Antonio. San Antonio. Beautiful place there. It's a great place in the Riverwalk. And All the Riverwalk. My mommy and dad are still down there. Yeah. And my brother and his wife are in Houston. Yeah. And uh, he's a doctor, so he's kind of... Good people in Houston right run. now. They're doing a lot of good for us. Right. Thanks for helping awesome. everybody out. <laughs> Supposedly you had a close call. You you could have actually been a ghost yourself. Or... I did. I did. It's sort of a goofy story. I was filming a movie called Flight of the Phoenix, and we were in Africa in the Namibian sand dunes, and we were on sand roads that were just sort of 
you know, you follow the tracks of the car that's in front of you. And I wasn't used to driving in sand. I grew up in Texas where it's asphalt and gravel, if anything. But um, the car started to swerve a little bit. And so I started to try and get straight. And it just turned and it ended up flipping. And I'm on the side of the road. And it does a whole roll. And it lands upright. And you sort of at the second of, like, am I... Am I okay? What's what's going on? And you sort of crick your neck and you move your back. And then I remembered seeing movies where, you know, a car crashes into something and everybody's okay and then it explodes. And so I, I'm like, oh no. And I open up my door and I run across the street and I'm like 50 feet away like, oh, okay, thank God. I'm not going to be in it when it explodes. And I'm, and I'm looking at the car and it's not exploding and it doesn't really look damaged. And I realized that I just ran out of a car after flipping it. And I start looking around and I'm like, there's not sounds, there's no wind, there are no birds or trees. I'm dead. <laughs> I, I thought, I, I was sure that I was dead. I had just heard some story about a guy who sees a car accident and goes up to help and sees it's himself inside. And I was like, that is me, I am dead. I, I better call Set and tell him I'm dead. So I run back to the car and <laughs> yeah. so I... Uh, <laughs> I run back to the car to get my phone, and I turn the car upside down, um, which it's now used to because it just flipped. And uh, I look for the phone, and I can't find the phone. And I'm like, of course I can't find the phone. I'm dead. I don't need the phone. Why, why, would, I, why would I need the phone? But eventually, you know, 30 minutes later, my buddy Eric drives by on his way to set, and I figure out I'm not dead. And here I am. Not yeah. dead. <laughs> All right. y'all I'm dead uh, all right supernatural is on Tuesdays at 9 on the WB when we come back we're going to show you what happened when I visited a beauty school thanks so much for being here Jared Absolutely.